I started playing Minecraft in 1.19. So, unlike a lot of the people I play with, I don't have the old Minecraft nostalgia, but I do remember it being a thing when I was a teen. So now, while we celebrate 15 years of Minecraft, I'm going to play through each release version of the game to see what I missed out on. We'll talk about the structure of this series as we go, but for now, let's jump in. Step 1. Look at all those textures. Okay, we are going to just be right, right here as we load in. You get to see me. Oh, I don't have my keybinds. Ah, look at textures! I imagine the initial gameplay isn't too different um, from normal gameplay, so obviously we're punching trees. Oh. Little piggies. They go honk. Oh, the mushroom texture! I love that. What kind of mushroom? Like, what does it show up as in our inventory? Just mushroom. I hate that you can't, that you can't drag them. Interesting that the uh, grass and dirt texture hasn't changed. Like, that's that's actually really cool. Oh, we have squids! Okay, so is F3... Yeah, still our... Ooh, interesting. Still our debug screen. Do we get directions? No, we do not. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, look at that pork chop. So while I keep running around doing some more resource gathering, let me tell you about how this series is gonna be structured. I'm so sorry, buddy. Okay, so this series is gonna have one episode for each game version, and in each episode, we'll have an objective that will hopefully walk us through a few new features for each update. I'll get up to one starter cheat for each video, except for one where I will have two cheats. Guess what that's about in the comments. The three types of cheats will be I either pick a seed, give myself a starter chest, or go back to a previous world where we already have something to work off of, and about half of our episodes will have one of those. I will post these regularly through the end of the year, so be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. This episode, our objective is to kill the Ender Dragon. It's a hefty objective, I know, but like, we're starting all the way back at 1.0. I felt like I had to, you know? For this video, I went ahead and picked out the seed ahead of time so that we wouldn't spend forever and ever and ever looking for a stronghold. I will put the seed up here and in the description of the video. Oh, that's a noise. Okay, the sun is starting to go down. I've collected a few bits of steak and pork, and then we're gonna descend before the baddies come out. Oh, also, if I recall correctly, the light levels that monsters spawn at are a lot higher, aren't they? Oh, hey, there's some iron. Oh, so it drops. Let's see. That's not the... It drops as the whole block. Interesting. Is melting not giving us XP? Interesting. The sounds are really throwing me off. I think that's the weirdest thing to me right now. Oh, there's some coal. Excellent. Interesting that coal is also not dropping XP. Okay, here's my question. If you don't have a crafting book, how do you know the crafting recipes? I do remember, okay, this is a whole thing. I do remember that there were books of crafting recipes and stuff like that. Story time. So when I was a teenager, when Minecraft was coming out, um, I remember there being books because my our pastor's son lent my brother some of the Minecraft books and my parents threw those books away because even though we weren't allowed to play video games, they were still, they had a whole thing about Minecraft specifically because it was demonic. So I do remember those books. Acquire hardware. All right. Well, we need to acquire another set of sticks as well. Oh, hey, that sounds like the sun. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. I both want to see what, like, old Minecraft caves were like because everybody and their brother has nostalgia about them. And also, I hate caves. I do not want to go near a cave if I can at all avoid it. But I guess part of the point of this series is me doing things that I'm not familiar and comfortable with. Oh, that's weird. Oh, interesting. 
Oh, and that looks like... No, that wouldn't... Oh, that is bedrock. What? Y level is this? Six. Okay. Okay, we found bedrock. It has cool little particle effects. Why don't we have cool little particle effects? And then, and then it gets all black. And, oh, I love that. That's really cool. I'm going to go build us a little house looking over the ocean. Which is over this way, right? Can, do we have sprint? Also, I want to grab one of these. They're so cute. Let's build our, our little starter hut right on that hill. We plop down our crafting table. This isn't probably going to be its final, final place of rest, but we have claimed this spot as our home. Okay, I am going to just start a mine shaft since the sun is already setting. What are your favorite early Minecraft experiences? If you've played the game for a while and tell me what you think are the biggest differences about how you play the game now. And do you like those differences or do you wish the game was still more like the older games? Also, if you were one of the super early players of this game, how did you figure it out? Cause like, it's not super intuitive to me. Like, I know, like, crafting recipes and stuff like that. How did you learn the crafting recipes? Um, like, did you have to buy the book in order to play the game? Did you just use a lot of trial and error? How did that go? Let's find this zombie. Oh, he's not here. Okay, cool. That's really satisfying. Just the absolute explosion. Oh! Here's another cave. Ooh. Ooh, very interesting. Yeah. And I can hear things walking. I am not interested in meeting those things. Part of me wants to get those resources and part of me just wants to back away slowly. And uh, I'm gonna give in to my cowardice. I'm gonna back away slowly. It is daytime, okay. Cool. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! First creeper explosion. And there's another creeper there. Got him. And we got gunpowder. Hey. There's no monster hunter achievement, huh? Interesting. Uh, or do you just get it for, like, zombies? Okay. It, there is something, especially now that I know a little bit what I'm doing. There is definitely something so lovely and peaceful about this early game grind. I love this. Do we actually, do we not have sprint at all? I want to see if I can spot, oh, there's a village. Are there beds? Are there beds at this point in the game? There's got to be beds, right? They're the little red beds. Oh, this is very cute. Can you trade with the villagers or are they useless? You've got to be able, ah, oh, interesting. I don't see any beds whatsoever. What the heck? I want to steal a bed. Okay, I'm gonna have to get iron and come back for those sheep. Oh, and there's spruce trees? Now, that's a different type of wood anyways. Might as well grab some. <gasps> and there's different colors of sheep. Oh my goodness, I love you. Oh my goodness. So we do have different colors of wool. Interesting. For some reason, I was under the impression that we would. That one gave us four. That's plenty to make a bed. Let's grab a little bit more, just for funsies. Ooh, I wonder. Can we get leaves? Okay, we do get leaves. Very cool. We get grass. We do. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of familiar stuff about this still. Let's take a little look and see if we can't go ahead and make ourselves a bed. Heck yeah. So let's set our bed down on the ground. Oh, look at it. You can only sleep at night and it tells you every single time. That's funny. Why isn't it letting me sleep? Ah? Why can't I sleep? This is absolutely just rudeness. Ah, there it is. 
All right, so what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of like farming and building and things like that. Is this, is this fully grown mature wheat here? It is, okay. That is difficult to see. Good thing they updated that. We attract some cows. Hello, Mr. Cow, would you like to come with me? I love that the mob textures, at least the ones that I've seen so far, haven't changed yet. Excuse you. Come with it. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Okay, one at a time then. Fine. I don't know if I'm actually doing anything. I might just push you the whole way. Sheesh. Oh. Come on. There you go. Did I just have to get really in your face? <gasps> There's our first baby cow. Okay, seriously, how do you get XP in this game other than just hunting? Okay, do I have to get really, really, really in your face too? Hey, Doe, I've got some wheat. No, you don't even, you don't even care. You wanna come with? Oh, there you go. And now, for a word from our sponsor, aka my partner reminiscing about ye olden Minecraft days. But yeah, see, that's why old-fashioned like mob grinders were really important back in the day yeah like, that was the only way for you to get xp was by killing things and so that's why you know mob grinders that made sure that they were easily killable was such a big deal yeah now there are like so many alternatives you can get xp from breeding you can get xp from furnaces those farms are really neat and easy to do. Well, heck, now we have freaking silverfish potions. <laughs> the fall damage sound? The the broken ankle sound? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Well, it used to be a very solid ooh. Oh, like Oh no. Oh no. Yep, they're 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 done for. There's this old, old version of the Minecraft in Alpha where the, the damage sound was uh, Steve basically grunting. Ooh! Uh-huh. And the bow didn't have a draw time. You just right-clicked and it launched the air. Oh, there's the other sheep. And so you could spam fire and it oh. was a very loud sound effect that sounded kind of like a whip crack or a slingshot or something. Uh-huh. And so there was this like, weird like, PvP games where like you would hear... <laughs> That's funny. Is enchanting a thing yet? Yeah. Or at least there's lapis. I haven't actually like Whoa. I haven't Whoa, researched on here. that far. Lapis is useless. Is it? <gasps> oh, there's no enchanting. That's good to know. I was gonna waste a lot of time messing with that. Well or trying to. No, hang on. Enchanting might still be a thing. You didn't always need lapis to enchant. Oh, I... Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, I will let you know once they find some diamonds. I assume that enchanting is a thing for the full release on account of, like, you still go to the nether, you still go to the end, kill the ender dragon, that's all stuff. Yeah. Um, enchanting is going to be very difficult. Like, it is... This is the version of the game where... Uh, you spend all your levels on your enchantment. So yeah. the enchantment costs 30 levels. Oh. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, so don't don't go in there with like 33 levels expecting to be able to do two 30-level enchantments. Step two. Achievement get. Say what now? Okay. Well, I am going to descend underground once more. And see if I can't find myself some diamonds. I must say, I really love this fog down at the bottom of the world. It feels very eerie. Now, if lapis is useless, can you at least make lapis blocks? Because then it's not useless. Yes, you can. I know what we're making the walls of our house out of. There we go. Those look like diamonds to me. Let's see. How much do we have? Do we have just the two? Those are so pretty. I love this block texture. 
It's so pretty. Oh, there's more. Hey, we got our achievement. Achievement get. Oh my goodness. Ideally, I would like five. It looks like there's just four there. I want to be able to make a pickaxe and an enchanting table. But hey, we got our first diamonds. That's huge. Well, I guess from here, I'm going to keep mining and keep farming things. And I'll bring you back in a little bit when I'm ready to get some action underway. All right. Well, as you can see, I have gone a little ham on the building. Is it perfect? No, but it's pretty cute. And given the limited amount of resources that we have, I'm glad it's not just like a wooden box or something. We have obviously made the front of our house here out of lapis, which is great. It's a cool block. I do think I like the current texture better for it, but this is, this is nice. Clearly, I haven't gotten enough lapis to actually finish the front, but while I've been mining for said lapis, I have gotten a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of iron. So like, we're set. So now we need to do some, some things. Apparently, sheep do not grow back their wool. And I am mad about it. So fun story, I logged into my 1.21 world and had a bunch of prompts like, go punch a tree. So I guess you would have those kinds of guides if you were just booting up Minecraft 1.0 for the first time. All right, and then we mine, and mine, and mine. And there's our first obsidian. All right, so I don't, I hope the crafting recipe for an enchanting table is the same. There it is. Alrighty, nice. And we got an achievement for that. Very cool. Let's set it up up there. Take a little look in, see what we have. Oh yeah, there's, we don't use lapis yet either. And you don't get to know what the enchantment is. Oh, that's, that's great. Okay, so we've got ourselves our obsidian and we need at least one flint and steel. Wait, 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 how do you make, what? Oh no, one iron in the first one. Th there it is. Okay, so that's just very specific in how you build it. We're going to stay up when it's nighttime. We need to not die for a whole night. But this is me we're talking about. There's a skeleton. What I really need is string I, or, or some bows. So like skeletons work. The problem with skeletons is of course their arrows. Ow. Hello, buddy. Hello? Hello? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Could really use some more spiders. Oh, hey, look at this. This is a good set of... Yep, yep, yep. Shoot each other, shoot each other. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, shoot each other, skellies. Good job. There we go. Nice. There we go. Excellent. And then we need to make ourselves a bow. There we go. All right. So now we need to start preparing to go into the nether. And we need to find a fortress and get ourselves some blazes. Okay. And then we light. Oh. We got the old netherrack texture. Actually, let me get my coordinates. Let me get my coordinates. We can't lose this portal. That would be really bad. Oh my lord. That is a sound. Okay, some glowstone. And look at that soul sand. Oh my goodness. Ah! No! 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 
All right, so as we're heading along, let me know what your favorite way to find another fortress is. And does that change depending on like the version? I don't know what to do with this ghast because like, I don't have, I guess I could try and throw its fireball back at it. Ow. Oh, so close. There we go. Hey, hey, look at that. Don't mind if I grab that. Time to... Ooh. Oh, so close. There we go. Yeah. I'm a professional. Okay, I have given up and pulled up the seed. I am standing on the coordinates given in said seed. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. You guys. I went into creative because I was freaking out that maybe I just didn't know something and like maybe nether fortresses weren't in this version or something. So I went into creative, into this seed. Guys, it's right here. It's literally right here. We just went the wrong way. So I went home, cooked myself a little more food, found the blaze spawner. Also learned that you don't get shields until 1.10, so that's exciting. Come on, my friends. Oh, hello, buddy. And that's it. That's a dozen blaze rods. That's all we need. Actually, it's probably more than we need, but you know. Step three. Enderman hunting sucks. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until late or until nighttime and basically build myself a little hut on this roof so that I have a little bit more of a far distance and then see if I can like aggro Enderman dudes. Enderman, Enderman, there's a spider. I need an Enderman. I'm trying. That didn't really go to plan. I can definitely see looking at like these Minecraft worlds. I can definitely see how the legend of Hero Brine was born, you know? Okay, so here's the thing that I don't actually know. Do we have boats? Can we make boats? Oh, look at that. Cute. Let's just place it on the ground. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And very, very slow. Oh, interesting. Okay, clearly I was planning to put Enderman in a boat and my partner just accidentally informed me that I can't do that. So I am thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do more nighttime hunting because I really don't want to deal with caves. Oh, there's one right there. All right, what let's do is build myself a little house. And then we go... Shoop. Break contact. You do be an angry boy, though. <coughs> Where's the Enderman? Come on. I love that this guy's just in the cave under me. Well, he must be far down in the caves and he's not coming out and I don't want to go after him. I don't know what to do. Look him in the eyes. Look him in the eyes. Get angry. Oh, come on. For goodness, okay, there we go. There we go. Did not drop a pearl. Got it. Come on. What do you want to bet he also didn't drop an ender pearl? I wonder if I can get looting. I don't even know if looting is an enchantment you can get. And this is what we're going to actually try and enchant. I have 17 levels, so that's not bad considering I'm not doing anything long-term like an XP grinder. Um, so let's give it... Let's see, this is level 7, this is level 6, right? 
Is this better or worse? <laughs> this is the question. All right, let's try the six. Knock back one. Ew. Ew. Rude. Yeah, it turns out there's not really a way to, like, remove an enchantment. My friends, I have tried it all now. I have built a mob farm that, that uses pistons to move things downwards instead of, instead of water to try and get endermen. I have camped the cave religiously. I think, I think we're going to have to go hunting. Anyways, since I saw you all last, I have learned that water doesn't just automatically break your fall. Painfully. Fatally, even. And I've fallen out of the bed at the top of this ladder to my doom down at the bottom of this ladder. Do we see any Endermen? If we see Endermen, we start running for him. Hello, my good sir. Woo! That knockback already does some good work. All right. Woo! Speaking of which, yeah. They're not going to let us get a, get him in the rain. Of course it started raining. Let's see. Is there a spot I can even just really quickly and easily shoot? Nope. It needs to be at that level. Okay. <laughs> Go. Come on, buddy. Come on. That was fruitless. We're going to go up and we're going to survey. See if we spot any Endermen. And I noticed that the uh, moon is setting. So, there we go. There they are. He did. Okay, can he teleport up this far? I don't think he can. Where are those arrows going? Nowhere, it seems, and now the Endermen are gone. Honestly, really? The rain? Oh, crap. Crap. Don't you dare pick up my sword. I will punch you to death. Just gotta go, gotta go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh no. Oh no. Daylight's coming. Daylight's coming. We gotta... We gotta get this guy. And not everybody else. Oh lord. Oh lord, it's getting bad in here. Ah! Oh, we got, we got, we got an angry Enderman. Woo! 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 Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. What? Woo! Woo! This is getting exciting, everybody! Oh, that's an ender pearl! That's two ender pearls! Excellent! And I refuse to die. Okay, let's see if we can't get this enderman, too. Nope, he's... He's decided that daylight is not for him. Okay. Guys, we got two ender pearls, and so what I'm thinking is what if we make two uh two eyes of ender and um and oh I'm shaking so bad. What if we make two eyes of ender? Hopefully that's enough to get us to the stronghold, unless we're really, really, really unlucky. And there should be ender pearls in the chests. Wait, I saw two drop very distinctly. Oh Lord, don't despawn. I'm so sure, there it is, there it is. Okay, 
bless. Okay, those uh, one-dimensional items really suck. Projectile protection four. That doesn't do much to help me, not gonna lie. Look at those potions of regeneration. Let's see if we can't add a little bit of redstone as well. Interesting that there is no uh, sound to indicate that those are done. But we just got our our brewing achievement. Okay, let's stand right here and toss it. Oh, not over the ocean. Sad. I swear, if that one had broken right there and then... All right, we need to head off in this direction. Okay, what happens if you're in a desert and you throw an eye of ender and it ends up on a cactus? Because that could potentially be bad. Okay, let's toss that again. Straight this direction. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. That! Oh, gosh, darn it. I didn't bring the blaze rods! All right, well, at this point, we're this close. Maybe. Let's look at our F3. Yeah, we've got to be close at this point. Oh, there's a village. All right, what I need to know then is I need to know if it is out in the ocean. Oh, no, it is not. It's here. No, that broke. Oh, okay. Well, it is probably somewhere. Maybe this edge of the village, you know? Right, we might need to dig around a little bit, but like... It's not like the world goes to negative 60. That's not, there's not a huge range that like we will need to dig through in order to find the stronghold. So I'm okay with that. We found the general area using our original eyes of ender. Uh, now we just got to grab the blaze rods. Okay. So I kind of think that. I'm going to start digging kind of right around where the desert ends and the village begins. Speaking of which, there it is. Ooh. This is really cool. And could potentially be really helpful, too. I will have you guys know, I am unreasonably bad at finding the portal room. I would like to point out that we also have not found a single chest so far. Hey, there's a library. That should have chests in it. Just has books. That's rude. That also just has books. Okay. Well, there's diamonds. That looks like it. That's it. All right. And there is a single ender pearl. Oh, dear. Well. All right. This room is nice and secure, so I'm going to put my bed in here immediately. Doesn't seem to be nighttime out. So. Yeah, let's finish lighting things up. And. We're gonna light that up. We're not gonna break it, because it's a secret tool. There is not a single pearl or eye of ender in it. Of course there isn't. Oh, that sucks. And it seems we're gonna have to go looking for even more ender pearls. Step four. I'm definitely ready to kill the dragon. All right, my friends, we did it. It's actually time to do this now. Alrighty, we got our fresh set of chicken. We have another backup bow. Maybe I should take some more string with me just in case. We've got our eyes of ender, our blaze powder, and plenty of extra arrows. The the tower method here is what we ended up using. I built a few platforms at different heights along it so that they would aggro on me and uh, sometimes teleport up to that platform. Otherwise, they would stand at the bottom of the ladder, which clearly got a little bit creepered. Um, and yeah, we finally got our ender pearls. I'm not telling you how long that took, though. All right, I grabbed some pumpkins the other day, and since they have the cute little face already carved in them, I was curious. Oh, we can put it on our head. I don't think I can find a resource pack to take the pumpkin blur away, so I probably won't wear this for the whole time of the 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 fight. 
but it might be useful to have along with us. Cool. All right. We should have just about everything we could need for this. So, off we go. Yeah, and we have one more ender pearl there. Cool beans. All right, I'm gonna store that, I'm gonna store that, that. Oh, that lava just exploded. Oh, Lord. I thought silverfish only like, you know, dropped from cracked stone bricks if you broke them. But they're just out here straight up exploding. All right, there we go. Now we're sleeping. Okay, put the last switch there. All righty. Come on, my guys. All right. Well. Oh, there's no cool sound effects. You're ruining my moment here, buddy. Put the first piece of damage in my diamond armor? How rude. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. We got our eggs and our arrows and... I'm going to leave my knockback sword here. All right, we're going through before this continues. All right, boss, help. Can I break? Okay, good. I can break in stone with a stone pick. I love how it says boss, help. What? What the heck? Oh, that might be the dragon. I think the dragon can clip through the end stone. I forgot about that. I did know. All right. Oh, there's... I almost looked that Enderman in the face. There's a lot more uh, end crystals than I was prepared for. Oh. All right, let's grab our eggs and start yoinking. Nice, nice. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa! No, that's rude. She broke my water! <gasps> no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Ah! This bucket is now useless to me. And I'm probably not gonna have enough eggs. If I keep missing, I'm definitely not gonna have enough eggs. Nice. I can't ever run in the overworld if I try. And then here, all I'm doing is aggroing Enderman. I didn't look you in the eyes. Okay. We're going even higher. Which is not going to go well with the dragon. We're going to die here, probably. There we go. Sheesh. This pickaxe is going to break, and I don't have anything to make another. Woo! Oh, that was bad. All right. Pumpkin on the head. We're gonna go heal in our little hidey hole real quick. Half a heart. And that's just fall damage. Nice. There are so many ender crystals. No one prepared me for this. A little higher. Nice. Two of them. Excellent. So we just have the one left. I don't think that's an eggable one. Yeah. All right. She's about to swipe us off. Nice! We did it! We have to be really, really, really super careful. All right, when she swipes in next, we sort her. There we go. And then... We shoot! Oh, hey, look at that! And then sword. I find it interesting that she, she makes the same damage sound as we do. Or, the same damage sound as our fall damage, specifically. She's going to come in for another. Look at that. Look at us go. This is so much better than the last time I did this for the first time. Or, like, than the last time I did this by myself. Which was my first time. Here she comes. Boom. And boom. Nice. Yeah, getting those double shots in is fantastic. 
Oh, one more. One more and we should have her. All right. Do I try and do a sword or do I just keep using the bow? We have 24 arrows left. All right, let's try the sword. There she goes. <clears throat> yeah. There's a distinct lack of sound effects. Oh, look at that delicious XP. Oh, and there's our end portal. Perfect. Oh, man. Heck yeah. We go boom, boom. And grab a torch. Nice. And then we zoop. Hello, little dragon egg. There you go. And boop. Heck yes. We did it, folks. We beat the dragon in 1.0. Let's let's go through and wrap this up. All right. Well, I can't believe we did that. That was a really interesting fight, especially because we didn't actually take damage from the dragon. All right. I need to look where I'm going, but we didn't take damage from her. The only damage we took was fall damage and damage from Enderman, which is really interesting, especially compared to how the dragon fights are now, where like she deals a ton of damage if she hits you. Um, not to mention she didn't have dragon's breath, so she really didn't have a way to hurt you other than fall damage. So the trick of it is, you know, get the end crystals, which, oh my goodness, I did not realize there would be so many end crystals. What the heck? Once the end crystals were broken, you just needed to avoid looking at endermen, basically, and you're peachy. But it was so cool to experience that, and now I get to add that to my list of, like, Minecraft achievements that I've that I've done, you know? So that's really cool. And well, y'all really don't want to know how long I have spent playing in this world in the last week. But I have a list of things that I really, really liked and then a list of things that I did not like and kind of drove me crazy. So let's start with the likes. The diamond ore is like at the top of my like list. All of the ores are really pretty, but like the diamond is absolutely gorgeous. I love how both the diamond and the lapis had a little bit more variation in their color. And I kind of wish we still had that uh, ore texture, not gonna lie. The next one, and I spent a lot of that time mining, so a lot of this is going to be based on that. I really liked how there isn't really item clumping, so when you break an ore, it just kind of explodes into a satisfying little pile of goodness. I love it. And then the other thing was the, the bottom of the world. The bedrock particles and, like, the fog... They're gorgeous, they're really cool, and I really like that concept of being like, you know, down that close to the void and so it starts affecting you, you know? And that's another one where I'm like, why, why did that go away? As far as dislikes, well, we only need to walk over to here to see one of them. Why? Why does it take so long for the sheep to regrow their wool? I have spent literally hours over here, and only those two have grown their wool back. And also, just generally, the mob AI is so bad. Like, this constant jumping is a problem. The- oh my goodness, look at my levels! I have 109 levels! We could do some fun enchanting! But yeah, the constant jumping, the fact that they will barely follow you if you have grain, all of that. The fact that we don't have sprint, terrible, horrible. That's one of the biggest reasons why I was so scared of hunting at night is just because there's no sprint and I didn't feel like I had much control over the distance that I covered at all. And finally, this stupid crafting UX. It's like the fact that you can't clip drag things like that's awful hate it also the fact that you can't place chests next to each other what is that about there was a lot of this game that felt very familiar and a lot of the game that i knew what to do because you know i've played minecraft for a couple years now so like a lot of it and i've heard lore from people so there were things that i knew and things that i was prepared for except for those freaking end crystals 
And then there were things that I wasn't sure about and wasn't prepared for. And it was really fun to kind of go in with that mix and explore and try things out and figure things out. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my time playing in 1.0 and I'm really excited to go through all the rest of the versions. Don't worry, most of the uh, objectives won't take quite as long to get to. This was a pretty big one. For now, we'll go ahead and just display our dragon egg right there. Well, I feel very satisfied with how this journey went. All in all, I did have to face up to my fears a lot, a lot more than I wanted to, and hopefully that will continue throughout this series. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and hey, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't seen my Minecraft journey, well, a couple of my favorite series to check out are my new building series in my original single player world and my first multiplayer experience. So both of those playlists will be linked up on your screen. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.